Hi, I'm Joe, and you're watching In Joke. Project log number five. Now, normally I do my project logs because I'm in the middle of ideas or in the middle of projects trying to figure out what I should do. This time it's a bit different. This time I was planning to release the video on how to model a D10 slash D100. However, I couldn't figure out the math exactly for the shape of the die. It's um, something called a, I'd have to bring it up here. Tra tra something. A D10 is a shape called a trapezohedron. I haven't even practiced saying that. I usually practice like after I've finished modeling it so I can say it in the videos. It's a trapezohedron. Yeah, trapezohedron. And it is not a standardized shape, so there's no equilateral trapezohedron kind of thing. Because it, it honestly can't be. It's made of kites, which are not equilateral shapes. So, yeah. I'm having some issues with the maths and the angles and the shape. The original one I just freehanded, so... Can't really use that. I'm trying to do it a bit more methodically this time. But yeah, that's why that's not happening this week. But then I did start working on the math. So that's project number one that's probably going to be coming out the following post. I don't know how my schedule is going to work out. Either way, that one's on the way. The next project that I was working on as a substitute to what I was trying to do this week. As soon as I couldn't figure out the math, I kind of had to abandon it early in the week. Usually it would take me a day, figure out the math, one day test it, another uh, that same day record the process again, and then add the numbers. So the fact that I couldn't get the math done the first day, I just kind of abandoned that, especially since I had other plans to do this week. So I tried setting up a second project, which was a magic circle. I started trying to do some video effects in Blender using the flame and liquid simulation. So I decided to make a fire and water spell since I know the fire simulation and the water simulation. And I was going to expand that a bit more. I was going to release fire this week, then that may have become a new series. I might just try to do that all in one video now since I'm not put I'm not pushing it out this week. But yeah, that was so far that's the footage you're seeing now probably because it's the only footage I recorded this week. Then in terms of future projects, projects that I'm seeing myself doing after I finish the D10 this fire project, probably I'm gonna, after the fire projects, I'll hop back on and do the, what's the next one down after D10? I have 12, 10, 8. I'm probably gonna do the D8. Then I'll move on to the projects I've been thinking of for a while, which was modeling a single miniature for Dungeons and Dragons. Now the thought I had is that Dungeons and Dragons maps, yeah, I got that caught up in my mouth. Dungeons and Dragons maps have two tile designs. So you tile a hexagon or you tile a normal square, which is just a grid. So I wanted to make miniatures with different bases. I don't know if I don't know if they'll be three D printable. I can never really test that. I don't have a 3D printer or easy access to one. I usually just send it to you guys and leave it to you guys to see if it can be 3D printed. But yeah, I'm gonna try and make one with both a hex and square base. Then maybe in the future see if I can have that be interchangeable between the bases, which I think is pretty easy. 
I'm just not sure how durable or functional it will be. But yeah, that was the plan after the D10 for this week, before I had to come up with the substitute idea. And then, finally, there was one more thing uh, th that's on my list. Um, this time I didn't write it. Oh, how foolish of me. So, the last thing on my list, as I try to buy time to remember the last thing on my list, was... I've lost it. I've lost it. Give me a moment. This will probably just jump to me actually knowing the... Right, okay. The last project that I have for this project log that I've been planning for the future, I started the second channel, um, Ninjavatar. Links will probably be somewhere to cross-promote myself. But I started the second channel and I haven't been able to post a lot of videos because the first video I tried to record kind of just hit a huge speed bump. So the editing on that is taking so much longer than I could have anticipated while I'm also doing this and a lot of other personal things. So that has been holding me back on the second channel. So that's a thing that I am actively working on. But the thing that is attached to this channel that I'm doing for my second channel, I've said channel way too much, is that I wanted to make a intro for the second channel. I have my Ninja Star intro on this. I kind of also want to redo that, but I don't have the time or the concept to redo that intro yet. But I do have a concept for the intro on my second channel. So yeah, those are all the projects that are kind of in the often. I don't think I said that right. Um, <laughs> I'm slipping into my British English pronunciation accent. I don't know how to say it. It's not an English accent because I'm apparently terrible at accents. But it's the way I pronounce specifically more Anglican words. Anglophile? No, Anglophile. Anglican words, yeah. But yeah, that's it. I don't know, I'll, I'll cut to an, an outro. Okay, so that's what I have planned for the future. You can check out the various links in the description. I also made two t-shirt designs off the D20 and simulations that I posted last week in my shorts. You can check that out in the description as well. But if you are interested in other videos on the channel, here's a sampling to the right. Or if you're interested in the future things you have seen in this video, please hit that notification bell and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and joke out.